Good day, everyone, and welcome to today's video. Today we are going to take a close look at the Tibetan Spaniel. Before we begin, please remember to like and share our video if you find it useful. Please subscribe to receive notifications when we publish new dog-related content. Tibetan Spaniel Tibetan Spaniel is a native Tibetan dog that may have shared ancestry with the Japanese Chen and Pekingese. They were highly prized in ancient Tibet and were widely dispersed throughout Asia as gifts to royal households. Depictions of the dogs were found on early Eastern art dating back as far as 1100 BC. The dogs worked turning the prayer wheel for their masters and also as watchdogs in Tibetan monasteries. They would sit up on the high walls and bark at anything they believed didn't belong. The breed was first introduced to England in the late 1800s and AKC recognized in 1983. As always, the pros are up first, loving and sweet, perhaps the greatest advantage of owning a Tibby is how much they love to dote on their family members. Intelligent, Tibby are highly intelligent. They know and respond to their family's mood. Playful, this dog enjoys prance and perch around the home. It becomes friendly towards children and loves to play with them all the time. They are relatively quiet indoors and only need moderate exercise making them ideal as an apartment dog. Tibbies are a great choice for first-time pet parents, but they also thrive with more experienced owners. They make excellent watchdogs, but due to their small size would not offer protection. They fit well in apartment life, as long as they have enough activities and are not alone for an extended time. Now it's time for some cons, explorative nature, Tibetan Spaniel is rather adventurous and active, so it's not advisable to take them outside without a leash. Vocal, though the Tibby thinks itself to be quite the watchdog, he will also bark constantly at any visitor or passerby. Rare, it could be expensive, and there might be a long wait until a litter of puppies is born. Their quick learning is great advantage, though they may not listen to commands when they are feeling more stubborn. Clingy, Tibby thrive on their family's companions. Leaving them alone is not good for this breed. Tibby need high grooming requirements, aloof to strangers, and not a good guard dog. The Tibetan Spaniel is pretty intolerant of extreme temperatures, both cold and hot. The breed has high grooming needs and has coat blowouts twice a year. Interesting facts, Tibetan Buddhists believe that any human, or even perhaps a Buddha, could be reincarnated as a dog, such as a Tibby. Some experts believe that Chinese royalty crossed the Tibby they received as gifts with their own pugs to produce the Pekingese. In Tibet, Tibbies are referred to as Simki, which means house dog, room dog, or bedroom dog. They were referred to as little lions, a title of great honor, since lions are considered sacred in Buddhism. Appearance, Tibby have a silky double coat. It is smooth on the face and front legs and moderately long on the body. Their necks are short and strong with firm shoulders. Their tail is set high, plumed, and curls when they are moving. These dogs' ears, back of the front legs, buttocks, and tail have long hair. The eyes of Tibbies are very expressive and bright, with a dark brown color and oval shape. Tibby has a small face, and ears that are medium in size and it are well feathered when they mature. These dogs are measured from 10 inches, 25.4 centimeters. On the other hand, their weight is 9 to 15 pounds it has 8 standard colors which include black, cream, gold, sable, red, white, silver, sable, and black and tan. Tibby reaches its weight and height maturity in 10 months and their mental maturity after a year and 3 months. Tibby have an average lifespan of 12 to 15 years. Grooming Tibbies need to be bathed once every 6 to 8 weeks, and brushed 2 to 3 times a week. You can use a wire pin brush or a soft slick brush to comb through your pooch's fur. This breed has two coats the undercoat and the upper layer which shed seasonally. The undercoat should be removed with the wire pin brush whereas the upper layer with the slicker brushes. Use some small handheld clippers to remove any mats that have formed around the legs or in the areas behind the ears. Spray conditioners and finishing sprays are often used to keep the coat silky and shiny. Avoid products with silicon if you live in a sunnier climate as the sun rays can instead damage the fur. Shedding Tibbies shed once or twice a year. Expect them to shed in small amounts in a year, but sometimes they shed heavier. Cost 
On average a Tibby puppy will cost $1,900 in the USA and most puppies can be found between $800 and $3,500. Preventive medical care should amount to around $385 to $795 for a Tibby puppy during the one year and around $280 to $645 every adult year. The average price of a Tibby puppy in India is around 20,000 to 25,000 rupees. It varies due to the breeder's reputation, location, and the dog's pedigree, age, and gender. Exercise and trainability. Tibby don't require much exercise due to their size, despite being so energetic and playful. They will be happy with half an hour for their daily exercise and sometimes will just be satisfied with a run around the garden. Their stubbornness and independence can often make them seem like they are ignoring you. Harsh training methods do not work well with Tibetan Spaniel. Instead with positivity, praising, treats and gentle touch your dog will respond much better and will grasp the training techniques quicker. This breed is prone to separation anxiety, therefore it's crucial that they aren't used to being left alone regularly. You should be on the lookout for shyness as well, if this breed isn't properly socialized, they may become timid around other dogs. Tibby like to explore which is why they should be leashed at all times, an extendable lead will work fine. Intelligence According to the Intelligence of Dogs by Stanley Corrin, Tibetan Spaniel is ranked 46. Understanding of new commands 25 to 40 repetitions and obeys first command 50% of the time or better. Swimming Tibbies aren't drawn to the water like some breeds, though some of them may enjoy waiting when it's hot outside. Additionally, keep in mind that small dogs lose heat faster in the water than most large breeds. Barking Tibby don't bark a lot. However, it can be their pastime if they are bored. They'll bark when people go in the door or hear something suspicious. Their bark is quick and high-pitched. Weather and climate Tibby is pretty intolerant of extreme temperatures, both hot and cold. They may have a double coat, but these provide minimal protection. Mild temperatures are the best. They can only endure temperatures of 55 to 65 degrees Fahrenheit, 13 to 18 degrees Celsius. Friendliness, Tibby are excellent playmates for children however, it is important that play is supervised. This is because kids can easily injure your pooch accidentally due to their small size. It is advisable to have a dog this size in the home with children above the age of 6. Generally, Tibbies get on fine with other dogs and household pets. They do have a stubborn streak so it may be best to socialize them with terrier-type breeds whilst they are puppies. This breed tends to be quiet and reserved among strangers, but they should not show aggression nor will they try to bite. They tend to be warier of their surroundings and don't like being immediately petted by somebody they don't know. Tibby won't bite unless they are provoked, in pain, or in danger. They have a low chance of biting. Their biting force is below 200 psi, and their bite is considered weak. Guard slash watchdog, Tibbies have been used as watchdogs, and they will alert you if they sense any unusual things. Drooling, Tibby don't drool a lot. If you don't like dogs that are slobbering, Tibbies are the perfect dog for you. Health issues, hip dysplasia, poor development can cause hip joint laxity which in turn can lead to arthritis. Progressive retinal atrophy, the deterioration of the retina in the eye which could eventually cause permanent blindness. Luxating patella, the kneecaps slip out of place. Antropion, where the eyelids turn inwards. Have you had any experience with Tibetan Spaniel? In the comment section below, we'd love to hear your story. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the future video.